The terrifying truth about modern society is that the amount of the once admired and worshipped masculine strong men has gone down dramatically in the past few years and the harsh reality of it all is that weakness is being promoted nowadays and we are constantly being reminded to embrace our feminine side. So in order for you to rise above the new feminine zombification they are inflicting on men, you need to remove these 7 traits from your everyday life so you can once again become the strong masculine man you are always meant to be. Trait number 7 is accountability and never taking responsibility. These kinds of people lack a proper sense of responsibility in every sense of the word and never take responsibility for their actions. So if you want to avoid becoming one of these people, here are ways in which you can achieve that. 1. Set your expectations straight. 2. Purposefully ask for feedback. 3. Get an accountability friend or partner. 4. Practice self-care. 5. Recognize when you're procrastinating. 6. Stay organized. There are many ways in which you can prevent yourself from becoming unaccountable. These are just some of them. Great number 6 is jealousy and talking behind other people's back. One of the most common reasons why people talk behind other people's back is that they themselves have low self-esteem. When a person feels intimidated by someone, they think talking about them behind their back makes them seem more exciting. They start using you as a point of contact with other people since they don't believe they can become close to them without sabotaging someone else. They also make sure to avoid being the focus of any conversation because they have nothing meaningful to offer. Another reason is that they are simply jealous, but don't get it twisted. Even your great friends get jealous of you sometimes. Some of them might even harbor secret envy, anything from your success in the field or your amazing partner. And they simply cannot be content with what they have and always have the need to compare themselves with others. Now, you might be asking, well, isn't there something you can do to stop it? Yes, there is. Here are simple ways to deal with these people. 1. Do nothing. 2. Talk about it. 3. Make it public. And 4. Cut off the friendship entirely. Trait number 5 is insecurity and caring about other people's opinions. These are the people who are constantly afraid of what other people might be thinking about them and they live their lives by the narrative of other people. But what they don't understand is that there are a lot of negative people in this world. You know, a lot of people who don't even try and what happens is they project their energy onto you and since you're so obsessed with what they're thinking about you, you eventually go on to become exactly like the people you listen to. The problem is the people you're listening to, but you're so caught up in this world created that other people's opinions are the only thing that matter and throw everything else out the window. But there is a way to get rid of this problem once and for all, and that's to start spending time alone in the dark if you must. Start talking to yourself the right way and once all those opinions of others are no longer in your mind, you will start to take back control over your own mind. Trait number 4 is instant gratification. Let's talk about dopamine. People call it the chemical of want and desire, but why is that? Well, here's how it works. From an evolutionary standpoint, your brain rewards you for anything that might increase your chance of survival by releasing a neurotransmitter in your brain called dopamine. That's why it feels so damn good to have sex or to eat a fat piece of meat because sex means the reproduction of our species and a fat piece of meat equals a long-lasting sensation. It's hard to believe but the world we live in is designed to release as much dopamine as possible in order to maximize profit. That's why social media platforms went from chronological to algorithm-based feeds and it's why video games have levels and ranking systems keep us coming back for more. We are rewarded with constant dopamine hit as you hop from one post to the next and from one level to the next. But what makes it even easier for us to engage in social media, junk food, alcohol, porn, drugs or any other source of instant gratification is that it takes no effort. We simply have to consume and are rewarded instantly with massive dopamine hits. So if you're ready to take the next step, you can give dopamine detox a shot and see what happens. Don't know what dopamine detox is? Well, it's a lifestyle you follow for 7 to 30 days and abide by the following rules. 1. No social media. 2. No digital entertainment. 3. No porn. 4. No junk food. And 5. No music. With the rules being set, it's time to start. Trait number 3 is neediness and avoiding problems. You've all heard about that one girl whose boyfriend can't do without them. And while women might say, aw, oh, us men start thinking to ourselves just how clingy that guy must be. And for a good reason, needy people are always those who push for conversations, calling, messaging, emailing, all of it. And they're persistently asking reaffirmations of 
love, seeking out compliments and wanting to spend every moment together. They have difficulty making decisions alone and often get angry or sad when their partner or friends spend time with other people. They are very sensitive to criticism. Even when delivered gently, they are often in need of reassurance, not just in relationships, but often in other areas of life as well. Needy people are also the ones acting jealous with no evident cause. Now there are many reasons why someone's needy. Here are some of them. 1. Fear of abandonment. 2. Dependent personality disorder. 3. Co-dependency. 4. Emotional dependence. And 5. Childhood trauma. Among many others is why people become needy and start looking for attention in any shape or form they can find. Trait number two is the tendency to complain. We've all seen that one person that always complains about everything and more often than not blames others for their misfortune. These people are often called whiners. Now instead of telling you ways on how you can change, here are seven reasons why you shouldn't complain and I promise you, you've already heard about all of this. The first reason and the most obvious is that it's worthless. The second reason is that it's a waste of time. The third reason is that complaining is nothing more than a blame game. The fourth reason why complaining is bad. Complaining attracts nothing but complainers. We all know the saying, we attract what we are. The fifth reason is that you're pushing the people you love away from you. Sixth reason why complaining is trash. Complaining teaches you how to be negative in any situation. And finally, the seventh reason why complaining is trash. Complaining is a negativity magnet. And trait number one is a total lack of emotional control. It's no secret that women show their emotions more often than men. From a very young age, men are conditioned that expressing their feelings is a sign of weakness and that in doing so makes them look weak. Specifically, men are told that crying in front of other people makes them appear weak and feminine. Statistically, women are more likely to get diagnosed with depression or anxiety. But on the flip side, however, men also deal with health disorders and distress. Remember, just because men are told to hide their emotions doesn't mean they don't have them. However, However, there is a way for you to control and show your emotions without appearing weak and feminine. First off, if you're highly emotional, volatile, fly off the handle, a lot of mood variations, a lot of negative emotions, the first thing you might want to think about is whether or not there might be something wrong with you, like physically, you might be ill, because illness can do that to people, so you should go and get yourself checked out, because you never know, you might have an inflammatory condition or something like that. Lastly, and I'm dead serious about this, are you sure you're not just hungry? With that being said, like the Boosty algorithm, share, so more people can start their creative journey, and subscribe to never miss any of my future uploads.